Like obviously it feels like I haven't seen him in a while, but it definitely doesn't seem like two months. Yeah, like it literally doesn't feel real. Am I waiting? No, this is one lane, dude. Well, I don't think so, because someone's coming up the side. What do you mean? Onto Albert Street. Now. No. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It's a public holiday here in Oz. It's Easter Monday. And I've forgotten that post offices aren't open today. Well, I guess it gives me like an extra day to be packing orders because I got quite a few yesterday that I didn't get around to packing. So I'm going to do that this morning. My legs are still so sore, like even just sitting on the toilet. But yeah, I'm probably just going to take it easy and just probably just go for a walk today, probably this afternoon. Um, I've got a lot to organize. I have to organize a final inspection for the warehouse this week. I'm going to go get my car detailed tomorrow. I've got a facial appointment on Wednesday. On Thursday, what did I have? I had something. I need to check my planner. But on Sunday, I'm actually picking up Peter from the airport. It's been like almost two months and it's gone so scarily fast like it has not seemed like he's been gone for like seven weeks at all i was like surely not like obviously it feels like i haven't seen him in a while but it definitely doesn't seem like two months almost so yeah gonna go pick him up on sunday night and then the following week we all go to hamilton island i'm so excited like i literally can't remember the last time we went on a family holiday like with everyone including like my godparents, grandparents, my brother. Like, I've, it's been like probably over 10 years, I reckon. So yeah, that'll be really fun. We're there for five days. I don't really have that much to prep for that. Like, I think I've got everything that I need um, for traveling. Like, I don't think I need any more clothes, even though I think that I do. Like, I was online shopping last night and I bought something. Didn't need it, <laughs> but I bought it. So hopefully it does arrive in time actually because we leave in like just under two weeks. Yeah, surely. I'm going to go pack these orders now. Probably have some brekkie and yeah, pretty much just have a chilled one today. such a productive day I had mum over she helped me do some like deep cleaning of like the toilets the showers the floors and everything and while she was doing that I literally went through all of my drawers empty them you didn't even want to know what they looked like before this Did that just zoom in again and now I'm slowly putting everything back in cleared like there was just so much stuff on that windowsill I cleared out a bunch of stuff that I don't really use every day or really need I did clean this room out just to make it a little bit easier for us when we end up moving this I mean a packing station's never gonna be clean let's be real and then I'm actually in the process of moving my stuff so I can use this bathroom just so we've got like separate bathrooms because I've got so much stuff. Like slowly going through all the products that I use every day and yeah, probably just like keeping them there or I don't know, trying to find some other storage solutions. And I'm just like slowly sort of going through this. Again, like this stuff isn't really stuff that I use every day. Like I haven't even opened them, use them a lot, I guess. But yeah, I need to like prioritize the drawers. 
Like even that, like I could literally just put them in a box and not have them in a drawer taking up space because like it's toothpaste. So I can just get them whenever I need them. So yeah, I need to like prioritize my drawers and like what I actually use all the time. I think this is just like my hair tools and stuff, yeah. But yeah, that's basically what I've been doing all day. I've been packing orders as well, getting on top of that. It's weird, like, not getting any sort of emails from, like, brands that I work with today because usually Monday my inbox is, like, bombarded with emails, like, back and forth. But because it's a public holiday, obviously no one's working. So it's, like, weird, like, not having... My battery died, so it's... But yeah, it's weird, like I said, not having anyone to really talk to or reply to on a Monday because usually Mondays is like the busiest day and I usually have like most of my admin days on a Monday like I'll just smash it out um but yeah I've got nothing to do basically that's why I just decided to declutter and reorganize my house I honestly cannot wait we are we booked in a final inspection for tomorrow at 4:30. Um, I'm going to get my car detailed tomorrow morning as well, which is well overdue. I've never had a car detail since I got my car last September. Like, obviously, I've washed it and vacuumed it and wiped it down on the inside, but I haven't had a professional detail, which I honestly can't wait. It's going to feel like a brand new car again. Even when I vacuum it, I'm like, why don't I vacuum my car? And then Wednesday, I'm getting my nails done. Excited. One fell off. I just don't know what nails I'm going to get for Hamilton. I was thinking maybe like cream tips and like some sort of design. I don't know. I'm really liking cream or like cream and green or something. I don't know. I'll work it out. I'll go on Pinterest tonight. That is what is happening this week. And then obviously if settlement goes ahead, I will be getting the keys on Thursday. Like I said, Peter's coming back on Sunday and we're going to stay in Brisbane that night because... Um, he flies in late and I just thought may as well like go have dinner in Brisbane and then just stay there the night and then come back on the Monday morning. But yeah, it's all happening. Um, I also, did I tell you I ordered a study desk? I'm not sure if I did. I ended up ordering a study desk about a week ago now and I got a notification that it's been shipped. So I should be getting that any day now and then I'll be getting my coffee table. Everything is falling into place. I'm just so excited for life right now, to be honest. Um, it's just nice knowing that I've got dates and like obviously got this holiday booked. Peter's coming back. Um, I'll be in the warehouse. I'll have my first employee. I'm just gonna have so much more time now. Well, obviously not to begin with because I need to train her and you know, make sure it all runs smoothly for when I'm not there. But yeah, for the days where I can't make the warehouse or I have other commitments or I just want to focus on other things, I can and not have to worry about constantly packing orders and, you know, being on top of that because that's been my life for the past two years since I opened Jazz Handmade. From the moment I wake up to the moment I fall asleep, that is what I think about 24-7 and you do not switch off when you run your own business. Anyways, I've been rambling. I'm about to go for a walk now. I need to charge my laptop. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a little update on my life. Life is good. Everything just happens for a reason, guys. Like, trust the process. And if things aren't, you know, you know, going your way or if you're upset about something that's happened, just remember that everything does actually happen for a reason and there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I need to blow this candle out before my apartment catches fire. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I got my period this morning. Unexpectedly, I was like, what the hell? It wasn't too bad though, but yeah, just like I, I never know. And the times that I think it's coming, it doesn't come so weird anyways i'm on my way to go drop off my car to get detailed i don't know why i've dressed as if it's like freezing today like i've got like this matching set on toweling so it's like hot and i'm sweating already <sighs> i do it all the time and then i'm gonna uber to riley's and basically just like work from there until my car's ready and then she'll drop me back off to my car and I've woken up with two massive pimples on my face. So I love that for me. Okay, just picked up my car from the detailer. 
looks amazing looks brand new i'm about to unbox some stuff that i got I needed to go to mum's to pick this one up i've got the hiccups i placed an order from bamba swim to get a few pieces for hamilton comes in a cute bag i've got a pair of bikinis i just love this print i was gonna get this last time i was on the website but I just, oh, this looks quite small. Oh, no, it should be all right. I just really love the print of these. And then I, I literally can't speak. I've got the hiccups. And then I just got the matching bottoms. I think these ones are the high-waisted ones. Yeah. I think I'm going to wear them back, back to front. So that the front and then that's the back. But that's actually meant to be the front. But I always wear mine back to front. So I got them. And then I got, I've always wanted this top as well to like throw on over the top of like swimmers and stuff. Oh, it's actually quite stiff. I thought it was going to be like quite a light t-shirt, but it's like an oversized white t-shirt. Yeah, I don't know why I had like a feeling that it was going to be like quite thin, like one of those like breathable sort of thin. Anyways. And then the last thing I got was a dress but i'm just hoping it's not in the same hard material okay no it's not as the white one so i've got the white one of these and it's just like it doesn't sit very nice it's like very stiff and thick i don't know just from the photos online i would have thought that it'd be a bit more like relaxed like a thinner sort of material like this like i would have loved it if it was like this because this material like i can just tell that this is so much nicer It's quite cool. I love the colours, very summery, and then it comes with like a matching belt that you can tie around. It's not really probably the best way to show you. Oh, cute. Some stuff from John Frieda. Shampoo, conditioner, oh, and a shine spray. Thank you so much. I actually needed a new... I was running out of my current shampoo and conditioner, so I'm guessing I'm going to be using that. Still haven't had breakfast, but you best believe I'm going to be having my cheesecake wheat bix that I prepared last night. I was meant to go today to do my final inspection, but of course, there was a few like defects that we noticed when we were there last, like a couple months ago now. And of course they haven't done anything about it and they're doing it today. So the day that we're meant to have our final inspection, they've decided to do something about the defects that we pointed out. So it was like, let's do the final inspection tomorrow. I still need to go to the bank actually today and transfer the funds and all that good stuff. And then yeah, tomorrow final inspection and then Thursday is settlement. So yeah that's what's happening in my life I'm in cotton on how cool are these shoes I low key love them I'm also trying on these um track pants I'm just trying to find like flared ones yeah, I kind of wish they had a drawstring though oh my abs are popping in the sliding <laughs> I think I'm gonna get them. Like they are cool and they remind me of the Gucci ones that I was actually gonna impulse buy last winter. They run, like the sizing is weird. Like I'm not normally a, what size are these? 40, I'm usually like a 39. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna get these. Okay, I'm back in the car, went to the bank, all good and I'm slipped and fell into glassons and cotton on as you would have seen um, I got some rolled for lunch which I'll have after I get the barbecue chicken also went into Woolworths needed to get some more almond milk and I wanted to try this really bad so I love fro pro ice creams they've just come out with protein pizzas macros are quite good actually I don't really care about like the low carb um, there is 26 well I'll be having the whole thing so there's two servings per pack. So I'm guessing half a pizza per serving. I'll be having the whole thing. So for the whole thing, 600 calories. 
I mean, ideally it's always best to just make your own because like look at the ingredients list. That's a bit wrong. But I do love Fro Pro products and I just thought I'd give it a go. Probably won't have it tonight, um, but just to have in the freezer, you know. Uh, what else did I get? Oh yeah, so I did end up getting these slides. Like they remind me so much of the Gucci ones that I was gonna buy. Like, so cool. I think they're like slippers, but I would totally wear these with trackies. I did end up getting those trackies and then I saw these sunnies. I was gonna purchase the Poppy Lissaman ones that are literally the exact same as this. Probably a, a tad thicker um, for Hamilton for something a bit diff. So, of course, their sunnies are always two for 25. So, I just grabbed another pair. Didn't really need these ones, but for an extra $5, why not? I actually quite like cotton on sunnies. And then I went into Glassons and just got a couple of, like, basic tops. Oh, no, and I also got, oh, my God, I also got these pants. So, I wanted um, some tees that, like, had that shape like in here kind of like similar to this top that I've got on so I got it in white and black they're just like full length tanks and I saw this as I was walking out to go and buy those and I was like oh my god I love these so much I'm such a pants like flowy pants type of person so these caught my eye look at the color of them it's like a silk fabric I love their pants um I would have got a 12 in this just so they fit a little bit more relaxed and I could wear them a bit lower, but they only had a 10 and they didn't have any in other stores. So I ended up getting the 10. It's just more of like a fitted sort of look. They still look really nice on, but oh my God, I love them. And that's all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very productive day. I need to go to the post office. Actually, I might eat my rolled. Where did I put it? I might eat my roll before I go because I'm actually so hungry. Where the fuck did I put it? I definitely had roll, didn't I? Oh God, I thought I'd lost it. Or like left it in Woolworths. I knew there was something missing from the haul. I knew it. I was like, I swear I bought something else. And I'll be having it right now, actually. I tried to find this in Coles yesterday and they didn't have it. Caramilk Breakaway. Breakaway is probably one of my favorite chocolates. Oh yeah, they break in a weird direction. I'm not the biggest, oh, I do like Caramilk, but it's not like my first choice. Yeah, this is not gonna last long. So, yeah. Ah, oh, these are actually the comfiest shoes. How cute do they look with the outfit that I'm wearing? This is just a Saski collection. I think it was from last winter. I'm obsessed with it. I've got it in cream as well. Um, but yeah, the shoes are a big vibe. I love them. They're quite um, narrow though. Like I've got quite wide feet. So I had to like really push to get in, but I feel like after you wear it for a bit, it should be fine. I'm about to eat my rolled. And I pick out the coriander because I'm a weirdo. I don't mind the mint, but just the coriander is just a bit much for me, you know? So yeah, that is my lunch. Wednesday I'm about to go to my boxing session with Lottie 
Just made my pre-workout as you saw. This one's the Naked Harvest Watermelon, the non-stim one. This is the one that I've been using actually before pretty much every like proper hit workout that I've done since I got it and I really like it. But yeah, this one is the non-stim one in watermelon flavor. I haven't actually tried the grape in the non-stim, but I've tried the grape flavor in the normal pre-workout and it is amazing. Probably my top two favorite flavors, although I do have a thing for sweet strawberry, but I don't think that comes in the non-stim. Also do have discount code for Naked Harvest for their whole website, including the proteins that I use. I also use their moon milk, literally like pretty much every night. But yeah, my favorite products from them, I'm actually thinking of making my go-to smoothie recipe after the gym because I haven't had it for so long because I've been having my cheesecake wheat bix literally every day, but I'm like craving a smoothie. So my favorite products from them are definitely the pre-workouts, Thrive Protein, and the moon milk. It literally tastes like a watermelon starburst lolly. I'm gonna finish this, head to my workout, come back, make my protein smoothie. I've got a skin appointment today and final inspection is apparently this afternoon and my coffee table arrives today. So it's all happening. Um, obviously I will show you guys everything, give you all the updates, but yeah, I'm gonna finish this. I know, shock, I don't have my wheat bix recipe. I've missed avocado on toast. But then I do kind of miss my wheat bix cheesecake, not gonna lie. It's an exciting day today. I get the keys to the warehouse. Finally. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you guys my coffee table. I'll show you guys in a sec. Get the keys. Um, I've got a PT session with Bonnie at 2 p.m. I think we're going to do upper body. Literally, my legs have just kind of recovered from last Friday's session with her. Like, they're still a little bit tender. And it's, like, been a week, almost. I'm going to go finish this. I also got a package from Princess Polly. For some fits that I can take on the trip. They're so cute. And that's it. Guys, guess where I'm about to go? Yay! Okay, here's my outfit first. Very cute. Stax crop bolero from Sheen. Yeah. Um, and then these are my Lululemon. Like I love their bike pants and midi shorts. They're like my favorite at the moment. Oh my God, I'm literally going to pick up my keys to the warehouse. I literally just thought this day would never come. Like. Honestly, it's been, it's been four months since I thought I was gonna go pick up the keys. Four months, that is cooked. Actually almost five, January, February, March, April. Literally almost five months I've waited. Oh, I am just so excited. So I'm gonna go pick up the keys right now. Then I've got my PT appointment. Then actually, I wonder if Riley, let me just, I need to check something with Riley before I tell you guys. Well, she's not answering, so. Hey, I'm about to go Hi. pick up my keys. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Um, have you, have you told anyone that you're moving yet or not? Because I'm like vlogging and I'm like not sure whether to say it uh i'm i'm doing like a vlog 
and I'll say that we've moved, but I'm not gonna like show them the house and shit. Guys, I'm in. I've got the keys, got my champagne, got a little goodie bag. Oh my god, it feels surreal. Like it literally doesn't feel real. Someone here. No. Anyways, I'm running late for my PT session, so I better go. But I'll be back later on with mum. Um, but yeah, exciting. I literally cannot wait to show you guys everything. Because you guys will be shook, especially downstairs. Just saying. Okay. I can't believe this is mine. What do you mean? It's literally amazing. Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, I literally never have my hair out, but I washed my hair this morning. I didn't end up going to the gym. I was going to do an essentials class, but I know I'm making excuses, but my arms are sore <laughs> from yesterday. Plus, I've got a lot to do anyways today. I've got an event tonight. I need to go shopping today. I just picked my outfit after... Like I literally was having a meltdown because I didn't know what to wear. But I finally picked an outfit, so I'll show you guys that tonight. Also realized I haven't shown you guys the coffee table. Sorry about the mess. But this is it. I got it from N Gold and it is literally perfect for the space. Obviously, don't mind everything on the couch. Um, I'm thinking, I'm just not sure how I want to style the table maybe i need like a tray or something there i don't know maybe i'm getting rid of no yeah i don't know if anyone has any cute like sculptures or something oh yeah they want to recommend for the coffee table feel free to comment down below but yeah that is the long-awaited coffee table and i love it so nice yeah, this is the outfit I think I'm going to wear tonight, not that blazer. I'm going to wear my Victoria Woods corset because I've only worn that once. My Jeff Avenue long sleeve top and I'm going to actually put the corset over the top. It actually looks really cool. And then my Georgia and Joseph jeans. And that's my fit. And then obviously I have to wear my Balenciaga bag because the event is around these bags and we can actually get them personalized. So... I think you can get them personalized on the back of this. So I think I'm going to get my initials. Or should I get jazz? I don't know. I'm thinking like initials maybe a little bit more sleek. So yeah, me and Riley, because we both bought the same bags, are going to go in and get our initials on them. So cute. And then I think I'm going to wear these heels. I'm not really a heel person, but they literally match perfectly with the bag. So... Yeah, that's my outfit. This is my getting my nails done fit, which I'm going to in about half an hour. This new Bolero is from Princess Polly. This is from Skims. And then these trackies are Missy Empire, I'm pretty sure. Yes, in a size 12. I got these like years ago, so I'm not sure if they still have them. But yeah, that's what's happening today. And then me and Riley are gonna go shopping today. She needs to get a few things for her house and I need to get a few things as well. Okay, I just got ready. I didn't film anything because I'm in a slight rush. I decided against the other outfit. Is that gonna fall? No. And I'm wearing this instead. So these are my Georgia and Joseph jeans. This is just like a basic white crop. Jerf Avenue blazer, obviously my bag. And then I'm actually wearing sneakers. My Chanel sneakers. This is my hair and makeup. I literally never wear my hair down. I feel a bit like incomplete, you know, cause I'm just so used to it being like, you know? Anyways, I'm just gonna embrace having my hair down. It's clean. I cleaned it last night. I just went through it with that, um, you know, those wave ones. Found these earrings as well randomly, which I might wear something diff but that's the look oh my god can you see that my jeans are unbuttoned <laughs> how embarrassing but like 
honestly, who actually drives with done up jeans? No one, surely. Anyways, I'm off to Riley's. I just went and picked up her little present. I ordered her a hamper um, from a company that actually gifted me a hamper when I was living in Perth. And I remember they gave me a discount code. So I was like, let's see if it still works. And it did. My Jazz 10 code still worked. Um, so I ended up getting her like a big... It's kind of like a housewarming hamper. It's got like a bottle of wine, some pasta, some like salt and pepper. I'll try and leave what I ordered on the screen. But yeah, there's so many cool ones um, for those that just have no idea what to get someone, you know? And like for any occasion, this isn't an ad by the way. I just thought it was really handy because I just literally had no idea what to get them. Um... So yeah, ended up getting that. I'll show you guys the box. Comes in a really nice box. Yeah, I probably won't film inside her house, like obviously for privacy reasons and she hasn't like properly announced it yet. So I'm not gonna be bloody walking in with my vlog camera, am I? Um, but yeah, going to Brisbane tonight and yeah, I'll see if I can vlog much of the event. I'm stuck in traffic at the moment actually, which is lovely. And it looks like it's about to pour down with rain just after I get my car detailed. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go. This is the box. How stunning, very sleek. I'm not gonna open it just because the ribbon is like all nicely done. But Lee Flame. Ooh. How did that just turn on? No, my camera literally just started recording from the floor. Yes. And it wasn't even on. Did you knock it? I just can't find it. I must have. Yeah. Must have been an omen. Hello. We are in Briz Vegas, maybe. Yeah. Stressful. Wait, okay, yeah. so can you see this is Leaf Lane? I uh, need to get across one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Hang on. That has yeah. to be a joke. <gasps> Dude. <laughs> he's cooked. Um is everyone alright? No. He's gone all the way. Is that left lane though? Is that where we need to go? Or is it straight? Or I can just stay oh, it's straight. too bad. Yeah, just... I'm not doing what that guy's done. Just maybe go into this left lane and maybe that's what it means. Yeah, well... I won't be doing that. That's an accident. No. Someone let me. Someone's going to be so nice. Thank you. I don't get people that don't let you in. Yeah. It's like, do you literally want me to, like, crash into yeah. your car? Thank <gasps> you. Anyways. Straight. Does this continue straight? Do I go up here then? Or am I waiting? No, this is one lane, dude. Well, I don't think so, because someone's coming up the side. Okay, maybe just yeah. stay left. Oh, there's a bus. No, you'll need to be going left, so just just stay left. Why is the city so stressful? I could never live in Brisbane. Makes me feel sick. Okay, okay. yeah, stay left. In this lane? Yep. Straight that left. Yeah, and then you're turning left onto Albert Street. Now? No. <laughs> oh, look at the pink building. Whoa. That's nice. Nice. Right. Whoa, it looks like we're in Italy. Paris. Whoa. Here we go. Jazz is trying the sneakers on. These are cool, but like, what would I wear with them? Everything. Like, what you're doing now? Yeah, this is the first time I've actually ever worn sneakers Yeah, I jeans. think it looks cool. Good morning. Wow, I look stunning. I just walked out to my balcony. I'm not sure if that fell, like that box fell or someone, surely someone hasn't gone through my stuff. Why is that upside down? I just put all like my phone charms in them. How can they even jump my balcony? Nah, surely not. Surely that's just me. I actually just woke up. Um, yesterday's event was so cool. Um, I don't know if I mentioned on the vlog, but me and Riley were actually the first two people in Brisbane to actually buy those bags that we have. Like we didn't even see them on anyone online. Like we didn't, 
Like we literally were just shopping that day that they dropped in store. Um, and went in and we're like, oh my God, those bags are so cute. So we got one each. And yeah, and then he said to us, like, you are the first two people to buy them in store. They, like, they just released today. And we're like, oh my God. And now, like, literally so many people have them. But I guess Kim Kardashian did, like, do a massive campaign with them. So that's probably why it got so popular. But, like, just saying we were the first two people. <laughs> it was really cool. We had some champagne, shopped around. Um... And yeah, and then we went to SK and Oyster for dinner. Didn't think I vlogged. No, I didn't vlog. Um, and then Messina for dessert and then pretty much just drove straight back from Brisbane. And yeah, I'm going to... I was going to go for a walk this morning, but just decided to rain today. Uh, we might go shopping today. Uh, I needed to get a few things. Um, and also we were going to book in a removalist to come in and like grab everything to take to the warehouse because like I've got the keys now um, and they're not available today. So they couldn't do today. I don't think they can do tomorrow or Monday because it's public holiday. So I think we're scheduling that in for Tuesday to have everything taken over. So that'll be fun. Okay, I'm rambling now. I'm actually hungry. So I'm going to go make maybe some Avalon toast, go get change, see what Riley's doing so we can go shopping. And I will speak to you later. Okay, I'm off. Thought I'd show you guys the fit. So this is what I got recently from Princess Polly, this top. These are my Lululemon, the groove pants, I think they're called. And then I haven't worn these sneakers in ages. My Chanel ones that I got years ago. And then this uh, top is from Princess Polly. And then my Balenciaga bag. So yeah, I've got a few things that I need to get today from the shops. I need to go grocery shopping as well. And I think we're going to start um, actually taking all the stuff to the warehouse ourselves, like the little boxes and stuff that we can. But we definitely need removalists to come get the mirrors because they are so heavy, like not even two people. Like you literally need like three to four people to carry it, especially that one that I got. Like it's so heavy so yeah we're gonna definitely get professionals to move that one because i would hate for it to break but yeah i'll show you guys what i end up getting and that is all also found these my vintage chanel's that i bought ages ago and when i first got them i was like mm, i probably will literally never wear them and i don't think i have or maybe even just like once but not at the house but i love them i put them on and i was like why don't I wear them? They're so cool. Where did I get them from? The Vintage Bar, I think. Yeah. The Vintage Bar. How freaking cool are they? Well, I'll be wearing these until I... I'm obsessed with another pair of sunnies. But, yeah, anyways, I'm off. I want to go into Cotton On because Riley was wearing these, like, PU leather pants from Cotton On. And they looked so good. She was like, they are so comfy. They're stretchy. Um, and they looked, yeah, really good on her. And I haven't really found, like, the perfect pair of, like, leather pants. And I feel like that's just, like, a staple to have in your wardrobe, especially in winter. You can wear it with, like, a bodysuit, a crop. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go try them on. I also need to get a few things, but I can't mention on here because it's a surprise. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Actually, I probably can mention it because it's not like they'll be watching. But you just never know. So maybe I just won't. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll show you guys what I end up getting. Guys, I'm in Louis Vuitton. I'm actually dead. How cute is this bikini top? haven't updated you since I've I was at the shops so I've been home now had my poke bowl that I always get when I go to park fair I get the cooked chick poke bowl that guy's staring at me 
Um, I'm about to go to BW actually with mum. She's going to meet me there. So I need to get like a Dyson and stuff for the warehouse. We need to get like a bin, you know, like buy toilet paper and stuff, hand towel for the toilet. Um, and we've got a couple of boxes that we're going to drop off there. But like I said, Tuesday, the removalists are going to come and like bulk pick up everything. So yeah, that's the plans. We'll update you guys when I get to the warehouse. Secure with the goods. Okay, we're here. Both cars are full. Just went and got the Dyson, like you saw. Just got some stuff for the bathroom. Also bought this book. So I can read it on the holiday. Okay, let's put this up. Whoa. So weird. Okay, I'm back home from the warehouse now. I just made a protein shake because I just really felt like one. I'm going to make this pizza tonight for dinner. I completely forgot that I bought this the other week and I was just like, what am I going to have for dinner? And I was literally going to order Uber Eats or like get Guzman's or something because I don't really have anything to make a meal. I was going to go shopping tomorrow. But I was like, yes, I'm going to make this. So I've preheated the oven, so I'm about to put it in. How long do I put it in for? Eight to ten minutes until cheese is fully melted. Okay. All right, let's put her in. And I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, pizza's done. That's what they look like. Let's do a taste test. That's pretty good. Like, really yum. Just tastes like a normal pizza. Like, I thought it might have, like, a little bit of a, you know, like, wrong protein aftertaste. Because, like, I'm guessing the base is, like, a protein base. Really yum. Really, really yum. Yep. Would recommend.